Hi guys and welcome to another What Works Wednesday with me Paul Greenwood where I share tips and tools for creators and business owners. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Trello as a Kanban board. This is going to allow you to effectively manage your team and also if you've got a large amount of content and you need to break that down into small manageable chunks it's going to help you manage your project more effectively. If you do get something out of today's video, please give it a thumbs up and support my channel by hitting subscribe. If you like to turn on your notifications so you can be alerted to every time I make another video just like this, please hit the notification bell. I'm also going to be leaving a YouTube card up in the description somewhere around here for some other of my What Works Wednesday videos. So please check those out. I'm also doing this video with one hand today. So excuse me if I do not type so efficiently today. I have broken my arm. If you want to find out what I've done to my arm, I've done a vlog where I explain what happened in my midlife crisis. I will leave that also in another card at the top somewhere up here. So first of all, what is a Kanban board? So a Kanban board is basically a tool that is used by managers to manage their team. It shows where the project is at any given stage within its process. So let's jump into the computer now and create a Kanban board. So in front of you now, you've got a blank Trello board. If you don't have Trello at the moment, please sign up to use Trello. It's absolutely free. I'll leave a link in the first link in the description of this video. Here is Trello and here is a blank board. So we're going to add four fields in this basic board. First field we are going to add here in the top is backlog. In backlog, this is where you'll have all the different jobs in almost like a holding area. This is what's probably going to have a lot in at the very beginning of any project. The next one we are going to have is next. So this is the job that you're going to do next. So when you've got your job, you're going to pull it from backlog into next. So the next one is in progress. In progress means that this is what you are working on. And the next one is complete. So add complete into that one there. For from here, we're gonna be adding all the different components to a project. So from here, I'm just gonna add lots of different stuff in. So I'm probably gonna fast forward the video. I'm gonna add lots of different things in for setting up a website. So I've added all the different things into the backlog. So this is what I would generally create if I was doing a website project. The aim of the game for this project would be, first of all, I'm gonna install WordPress. Once I've installed WordPress, I'm gonna put that into complete. And the next one will come on board, which will be add the theme. And after that, I'm gonna be installing all my plugins. So each one, as I've done them, goes across bit like this. If you were working with a team and you had all sorts of different things on the go all at the same time, you probably want to add other people in. So let's just say you wanted to add somebody in there who's your copywriter or is going to be doing blogging. So we would invite them into your board. So we add a team. We're going to just add a new team. We're going to put web project because this is a web project. I'm going to do team. So um, we're just going to put small business, it says to say it's a small business website. So we're just going to add that. Once we've got that there, we're going to add somebody's name in there. We put their email address in there and we'd hit the button there. That's send invitation. From there, we can add people as, and assign them tasks. So let's look at the content one here, for example. And to add somebody in there, I would add a member and I would be able to search members that I've invited to this board. Obviously, we can't see anybody on this board because there's only just me in there, but if there was somebody in there at this time, I would add them and assign that task to them. So it's a very much a collaboration tool as much as it is as an organization tool. So you can see how powerful this is for your business. Another little power tip I have for you for using a Kanban board is for you to not have everything in in progress. The point of this board is to try and keep yourself organized. And if you have everything in, in progress, you're not really using it as you should do because you've got too many things on the go and that means you're gonna be a little bit disorganized. The point of this is, is to try and keep things absolutely well organized so you know exactly what you're doing next, you know the next job that's coming up. 
You can use this for all the sorts of different projects as well. So you could have all the different projects in here. So this could be the different projects that you are working on at any given time. So here's another Kanban board example here, how you could use it. You have got the different jobs rather than the different element to a project. So you've got your different jobs that you've got on at the moment. So you may have a logo and branding job that you're working for for Eric, and that's what you're working for at the moment. And when you finish that, you're gonna do the photo edits for Danny. And as you get another job in, you'll get another one come in. It'll be, um, you know, the logo job. As they come in, more jobs come in, you put them in this box here. And then as you going through, you want to complete, you put them into the next one. It's just so you can manage your different projects and it makes it so much easier uh, rather than everything, everything in your own head or just in a, in a to-do list. So that's how to create a Kanban board using Trello. And there's a couple of ways that I recommend using it as a Kanban board in Trello. Let me know, are you using a Kanban board? Are you using Trello? How are you using Trello? Please let me know in the comment section. If you've got something out of today's What Works Wednesday video, please give it a thumbs up if that's what you're into. And support my channel, hit subscribe. And if you wanna see when I bring out more videos just like this for creators and for business owners, tips and tools, hit the notification bell and it will alert you every time I release one of these videos. So that's it for now. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you in a bit, guys. How is it? I will see you in the next video. I won't see you in the next video. It's you will see me in the next video. Something like that. Doesn't make any sense.